Hi everybody, here's one more example of a transformation, which is uh, we're going to do a trans, okay, a type of transformation is a translation, and what that means is we're going to slide something somewhere. It'll look exactly the same, but we're just going to move it down or left or right or whatever. Okay, so here's the situation at hand. We're given a shape on a graph. Nothing to be scared yet. We know everything going on. And it's saying, if we slide the shape to the right by nine units, what are the new points? Well, in order for us to know what the new points are, we have to know what our old points are. So let's look at the graph and determine what our old points are. Okay? So let's call these points A, B, and C. You can call them any letter. It doesn't matter. Okay? A is uh, an x value of minus 2 and a y value of minus 1. That's A. Okay, point B is an x value of 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Negative 4 and a y value of minus 1 as well. The height is negative 1. And point C has an x value of minus 2 and a y value of 1, 2, 3, 4 above 0, so that's 4. Okay, so we have our points A, B, and C described. That's perfect. Now. Is this question asking us to draw the new graph? No, no it's not. But we wouldn't even be able to draw it because 9 would be over there somewhere. I mean 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm not going not gonna to draw it. The question says what are the new points? So what they're asking for is this. What's the new B? What's the new A? What's the new C? Now remember what we did in last video. We can show it symbolically. I'm going to write the points down over here. If a is negative 2, negative 1, and all points, sorry, are all points are x, y. Every time, every point is point is x, comma, y. If A is 2 minus 1, that means A prime, we're moving, this is when we uh, understand what we're reading here, we're sliding the shape to the right, that means we're going positive by 9 units. So we're going positive 9. Watch what happens. If this is x, and we're going to slide it to the right, that's an adding, by 9 units, there you go. That will be our new x point. Has y changed? No. We're just sliding it right along. So the height of this triangle is staying right here the whole time. So that'll stay there, minus 1. Okay. And we can just do our math. Negative 2 plus 9 if you need a refresh on that, will be positive 7. Okay? So A prime is 7, 1. That is our new point. First one, B, negative 4, negative 1. We can go a little faster here now. Now that we know what we're doing, follow the same pattern. B prime will be negative 4 plus 9, because we're adding 9 units to the right. Why does it change again? Which is, uh, this becomes, B prime is, what is that? Positive 5, negative 1. Okay, so that's good. And then C, the last one, negative 2, 4, I'll just do that up here. If C is negative 2 and 4, then C prime is negative 2 plus 9, 4. Therefore, C prime is 7, and 4. So there are our new points. And anytime you're doing this in your math notebook and you're going to give it to your teacher to correct, make sure that they know where your final answers are so that it is easy to find. And then, of course, for your studying, you're going to want to know, oh, here's my start, here's my finish. Start finish. Okay. So to answer the question, if we slide the shape right by 9 units, what are the new points? The new points are A prime is uh, 7 and negative 1. There's the B prime and there's the C prime. Okay? And what it would amount to is this triangle would look exactly the same somewhere over here on the graph if the graph kept going. Okay? Got the idea?